so the iphone 13 has been one of the best flagship of 2021 uh in terms of photos build quality reliability because definitely the good thing about ios and iphone is about reliability because you can definitely rely on your iphone or your ipads or macbook anything ios you can definitely rely on them however the iphone 13 pro max has obliterated every smartphone out there of 2021 it has won the best camera of the year because of its consistency in terms of taking photos and video quality is like amazing obviously with the new um 13 pro max which is what i have here there has also been the introduction of prores which is something that you would not find in other smartphones so basically that simply means that your video will be better than every other videos that you can find on smartphone period however that being said how is the usage how is the usability of the iphone 13 pro max if you're going for the 13 you're very all right you you're safe but if you're going for the pro max this is where the problem comes in and dear apple i hope you're watching this i personally i prefer the design of the 11 pro max and here is why you see this phone here um just for reference i want to show that i'm rocking on the 13 pro max the only time i enjoy using my phone is when i'm rocking it without a case so like most of the time you see youtubers and um, when they make videos you always see them without a case on their phone and there is a reason to that if you watch tech videos seeing youtubers make videos you always see them like this when they have your iphone they don't have a real case it's not because of swag or because they are rich so if it breaks um they can afford another one to be honest the reason why most of these guys are rocking their iphone without a case but if you see them with google pixel or samsung phones or all the random device they have case on them it's because this thing is almost impossible to hold with your hand it is so uncomfortable and this is why i said i get pissed when some reviewers they just hype the phone and they don't even see anything wrong with it this is like let me use my right hand this this is how you hold the phone but when you're texting this is how you hold the phone you need this hand to be here so that you can type so i would go for example let's say chrome search yeah i want to type this hand needs to be at the bottom and then let's search for i'm trying to use my hand food <laughs> food matches today all right and then my hand this finger guys remember this is still done holding the weight of my phone so if you have a small hand this is still possible to do and you can still try look I don't have big hands but I can try to migrate from down to top from down to top but when you hold the phone like this which is how you should hold the phone anyways there is no way you can do that look there is n you have to like struggle to go to the down and you have to struggle to go to the top i really hate that and this is something that you could do if you hold in say for example samsung galaxy s21 plus which is a huge phone big screen size same factor as the iphone but because of the design language, it's pretty easy for you to, you know, navigate around your screen. But with Apple, because it's so wide, these edges makes it impossible to enjoy the phone. Like it is really terrible. And I want famous YouTubers out there, people that Apple would listen to, to address this issue because spending up to a grand for a smartphone and when using the phone is like a pain. So um, not just me, I watch some other people even my girlfriend, she refused to get the Pro Max because when she had held mine, she felt very uncomfortable to use it. She couldn't use it with one hand and she's like, no, I'm going for the just standard Pro. And using this thing over two months now, I'll be honest with you guys, I noticed that I'm beginning to feel weird on this finger. I feel weak. If there's anyone out there watching this video and you have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, if you're beginning to feel weird or weak, Kind of like tension stress on this part of your hand um you're not alone if anyone is out there with this please just type on the comment below that is one so the ugly design um 
the design looks nice actually but when using it it's pretty uncomfortable to hold that being said one and the second problem i have is when i'm working with the case so i have this case and i returned the apple leather case because <laughs> i thought there was no point and i also have the speargun um case which is just right there and to be honest i am stopping to use case on this so the second point i want to address is whenever i'm using this it does not feel like i'm using a new phone how you would ask you see the edges on your smart this edge is here really affect the usability say for example i'm in an app let's go on instagram now let's go on instagram where you would like to like scroll and sometimes you want to scroll back with this um edges bump coming up i do understand the reason why they make that is because of um screen protection so that it protects your screen against drop and all that however it's not the best design to me if you ask me because there have been other devices out there before this and we've never experienced this issue about drops when it falls it breaks because already we have screen protectors on it so i have a screen protector on this but still i still have this edge coming out like i could place my finger on that again i do understand that it's for the protection but these actually affects the usability of the phone it does make it seem fun when using it that being said the only time i enjoy using this device is when i take it off the case and when i use it just like that this is the only time i feel like i'm using a 13 pro max other than that once it's in the case once it's in the case, I don't feel any difference from using this and using an iPhone 10, 100%. Probably maybe if you go into camera app, obviously there is a better picture quality or photo or video quality, 100%. Or maybe when scrolling through apps or scrolling through web pages, the 120 hertz refresh rate, which some people still cannot tell the difference. I could tell the difference because um, I've been working 120 hertz from iPad Pro before obviously before these came out and I could tell the difference. So I wish like Apple could see these and understand that this design language is actually flop like. It's very uncomfortable to hold in the hand. Like I can really get tired texting people. Like if I'm on, on a text for more than 10 minutes, like I said, the stress on my hand, like it, it even feels worse when you have a case on this and you try to type or reply text it really feels really bad the only time you can actually use a pro max to text for long is when you have both hands on it but if you have one hand even if you have big hands you still find yourself feeling very uncomfortable to use it and like i said it's not just me i have friends who are like way big hands like basketball hands and still they're still like wow this device is uncomfortable to handle with one hand so um if you are there and you're planning to get a Pro Max, make sure you have someone who could lend you a Pro Max. Just give a try to see how it feels in the hand before you buy one or make sure you go to the app store or wherever you're getting it from. Try to hold it, feel it on your hand and see if it's a design language that you would like to use because I repeat, this is uncomfortable to hold. So if you like tech reviews like this, someone who gives honest opinion, to make sure you click on the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.